Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. My name is Mr. Singh. Well, folks, market is about to close in five minutes. Uh, let's do a recap. We're going to talk about the earnings coming out for XPeng and also on the self-driving car and so forth. Well, we opened up at 42.60, went high of 43.69. Um, and then after that, we just had the pullback all the way low to the 41.88 and then make some recovery and pretty much trading the sideways, right? So we're down by 0.033% for the day from the previous close. Um, and it's kind of been neutral moving uh, in sense of that because the NASDAQ was not doing it, performing at a higher level, opened up, um, and it was a from... 14,800 came all the way low. So it was a choppy day, especially for the NASDAQ. And I expected that. As soon as I saw that, I expected that to be kind of flat, uh, flat day for XPeng. And right now we are about four minutes left for market to close. Kind of some recovery. I hope to see it go close over 40, 42.50. But we'll see if it's possible or no, because the whole day we've been trading below our moving average, the 200-day, the 60-day yellow line, and even the WAP line uh, didn't even came close to that. So uh, let's talk about the uh, news, uh, about the earnings, what I'm looking at, and also uh, the self-driving. And then we'll later talk about the technical analysis on the video too. So XBank report the earnings of August 6. We know news is tomorrow. Uh, or, and then... There'll be some of the stuffs that will be related for both companies. So expect I'm looking at for XPeng on Tuesday will release its second quarter financial results um, on August 26th before the stock market opens. So it's a pre-market. Uh, previously announced XPeng delivered 17,398 vehicles, um, 98 vehicles in the second quarter, up to 439% from the same period up and 30% from the first quarter, right? So this is Q1, right? So Q1 uh, under 2020, they roughly did about 2,000, and the Q1 uh, they did on 2021, so this year about 13,340 vehicles. Q2 they roughly did um, about, in 2020, it was 3,228, and 17,389, folks, that's a huge number, huge spike from the first quarter to the second quarter, despite the chip shortage, despite the battery issues were going on for all the EV makers, that's a phenomenal growth, the company is doing it, right? Uh, it has been, in 2020, you'll see that there was a currency rise up, um, but you see on 2021, it just straight up is going and producing up to 5,000 vehicles extra on each quarter. So that's phenomenal. Something to watch on the financial side. Um, also, if you can dial in, if you want to, uh, uh, there's the numbers you can dial in for the first conference if you have it. Also, in addition for the live uh, participants, are dialed in five minutes before the start of the conference call. Also, uh, replay of the conference call will be done on the September 2nd, 2021 by the phone numbers. So definitely, if you missed it, you definitely can revisit it. And uh, But I will also show the, uh, give you guys the breakdown of the financial that I'm looking at for XBank and where they're at right now, right? This is huge. You'll see a lot of rally during the market time, during the earnings. Just have to be got to be careful uh, how it plays out on that, right? For the long run, definitely love this company. Uh, one of the... Top two companies in China, Neo and XPeng, uh, producing at the highest level of EV vehicles. We know they're already in no way the start of the operation. So the video shows the XPeng testing P5 self-driving capabilities on the CD road. Uh, XPeng Motors recently tested LIDAR equipped P5 model uh, navigation guided pilot. That's NGP self-driving capabilities on the street, city series, according to video posted. P5 is capable of automated changing lanes, recognizing traffic lights, making automatic left turns at the unprotected intersection as shown in the 30 seconds of the video, right? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to play the video, but this is the inside look of the um, XPeng vehicle, uh, P5. I love it. I love it because this company is growing at a rapid pace um, and 
are delivering the numbers as, as they promised. Well, let's talk about the six months, then we'll go back to our year to date and what we're looking at time and time. Uh, you'll see our 200 day moving average is right here, the uh, right sitting at $40.21. The 60 day moving average is sitting at 60, sorry, $41.65, right? Came low for the day, close to, but never came to the 60 day in the year to date. And the 20 day is sitting roughly at $42.40 right now, which we are trading below. So everything is pointing towards another breakout pattern coming, right? To go test of high of $44.66 and $46.89. Um, also, I want to share with you guys that XPeng was always far from NEO in terms of the stock price, right? They were at least like seven, eight dollars behind. They are catching up, folks. NEO is forty-four dollars and twenty-three cents. XPeng is forty-two dollars and thirty-two cents, and they are growing at a rapid pace. I'm excited. I'm excited uh, about both those two companies and how quickly. If you see, it was from twenty-two dollars, right? To 73 cents they went higher 47.96 after we had on the year to date which we're going to go right now was all time high was 74 dollars and 60 49 cents and we've been where everything at all the ev sectors got uh got destroyed pretty much came at the two seven level uh at the level of 25 dollar level and even the low of 22.40 right so now we are make, making a road of recovery we'll see that time and time the 4466 got rejected numerous times, right? And we had a pullback. So 60-day moving average and the 200-day, you'll see right here, right? Our 200-day moving average sitting at $36.11 and the 60-day moving sitting at $39.32. They've been acting as a massive support every time we came to the 60-level level, level or, if you, or even at the 200, uh, 200 moving average, right? And as mentioned in the previous video, time and time we'll see in... Uh, trading in between this pattern in order to have a breakout. I am looking some sort of a bull flag pattern and I will share the picture also on that um, in the video. Uh, uh, also you'll see a bull flag pattern where the bull pack goes straight up, trade in between before it spikes another up, right? So some sort of that we'll see. I can I can definitely see testing go highs of 44.66 and 46.89 very soon. Uh, we just got to be very, care very careful because RSI is looking neutral right now. It means there's, fl there's a lot of room. MACD, you know, everything is pointing towards an uptrend, right? Volume predicts price, folks. So we have a volume issue right now. 5.6 million, definitely not want to see that, but love to see anything over 25 to 35 million volume. So because volume predicts price, we have not getting a huge amount of volume. So definitely we got to keep an eye because once you, what we have seen it time and time, when we come below, below of 47.50, we buyers have stepped in and pushed it, go test of high 44.66, kind of becomes a loading zone for, for the buyers. Uh, so definitely we got to watch when it comes to that level because you'll see today when it came at 41.88, buyers stepped in right and push the price high right so we close the day for today is 42 dollars 32 cents after hours is still down for 0.12 percent i'm okay i'll take it any day even the market was so uh up and down especially the nasdaq today well folks that's all i have i hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe smash the like button turn on the notification if you guys want to be constantly be updated on neo xpeng or any other stocks that i cover on my on my channel uh, please comment down below if you guys have any questions love to hear you guys thought on that uh, really appreciate you guys watching it and good luck on the rest of the week of trading thank you